I go to the Bible. This time I use Luganda. This is from the Bible. Whatever man sows, that's what he harvests. Now, the people who killed Benedicto Chuanuka thought they were very smart. I don't know what they thought. Those who were killing people those days. I will ask some of them who are in that, in that system. They can tell me their reasoning. The, what did they think? You pick a chief just you kill him, you think that's the end? Or you kill any person, forget chief justice? You can see that these people were big miscalculators. They didn't know what would work and what would not work. Now, 40, more than 40 years now, 40, no, it's more, it's 48 years. 48 years now, 40, 49 almost. We are here. We are remembering Chiwanuka. We are condemning Idi Amin. And all those that were with him. So this is a good lesson for the people who may have authority to know that sooner or later you will be accountable for bad things or good things. That is the second point I wanted to mention today. The third one, I can see that the judiciary don't know very well our hunting regulations. You know, the, in, in the tribes, we have got hunting regulations. When you go to, to hunt, you divide jobs. There are people to, there are people to see where the animal has slept. Then very early in the morning, you have got people to come and, and beat the bush to frighten the animal. They call it And then there are the people who, may, who, 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 who put nets, nets, nets to trap the animal. If you go here timber, Octega, that is Octega now. And then there are the people who wait behind the nets. They call it Okugurra. Now, when the animal comes, the one who spears first, that's the one who has killed the animal. Uh huh. Wajivans. Then the second. It's called Okinga. It's called Okinga. I was about to forget the word. So when it comes to, to sharing, everybody has got a share. Now, I think even the judiciary, you, you have not understood the, the hunting regulations well. I challenge you to go back and revise. Because Chiwanuka was killed by Idi Amin. Who revenged for the killing of Chuanuka? It was not just the lawyers. And I would like to read uh, Chief Justice Wambuzi's book. Does Chief Justice Wambuzi recognize the freedom fighters? Because they are the ones who avenged for the death of Chuanuka. We are the ones who speared the animal. I think you people, you came to add some, something. I don't know what you added. 
but the animal was speared by the freedom fighters. But when, when you make speeches, I don't you hear talking about freedom fighters. Because this, these bad governments would never have gone away, would never have had the recovery if the, your people did not sacrifice. For years, and many died. Some of them were actually lawyers. Some of the people who died, but in the struggle, were, were lawyers. Like Martin Moesiga was a lawyer, was with us. So I would like you to, 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 to revise the hunting regulations of the tribes so that in your documents and so on, you capture the history of the struggle, the, the, the multi, multifaceted struggle of the people of Uganda to, to bring stability. Now, point number four, I'm very, I'm very glad the Chief Justice has touched on it. There is something you have been uh, dancing around. Again, the two constituencies. The constituency of three, actually. The population, the freedom fighters, and the legal fraternity, who are normally trained in uh, Western concepts, Lord Denny and all those people. I, I used to pick those stories in, in the university from my lawyer friends, Kategaya or Pakabulo. I also did law as a subject for one year, and that's why I picked up uh, racial dissidents dictum something, I picked up some few Latin words. And I also was annoyed by Regina versus Amkeo, 1917. After that's why I, I really became, a, I was very much annoyed by that case. But, Given the history of our country, there are, there are those of us who took the line of no, we shall fight. Because this arrogance started in uh, 1966, when Obote abrogated the Constitution. What? You? How can you abrogate our Constitution? Of course, I'm very lucky that I have seen, I have been, I've seen and been part of all of this from almost from the very beginning. So therefore, that's how you had that stream of people who said we must fight. Now, as we are fighting, we had our own ideological view of justice. And I have given you the example of how we really planted the NRM, how the NRM became the majority force in the country. It was 1982 in Semuto, a village called Murule. We were fighting. There were different groups, Kaira, what, what, government, uh, government army. But I think the people are watching us. They are watching us. These people, who is who? Now, in 1982, two, two, I think there were two of our boys killed, one inch, three one inch, in the village of Mulule, near Semuto. So when they killed the Wanainchi, we had our local judicial system headed by Mrs. Mukwaya, because she was a magistrate and she had joined us. 
They tried that case of the soldiers, then they handed it to us, to, to the high command. So I was uh, the chief justice, chairman of the high command. Now, when they handed it to us, we had one of our people who had trained in law at Makerere, Jim Wes. So when they brought these children, boys who had killed people, Jim Wes brought your, your, your Western concept. He, he said, look here. The, the, the leader of the boys who killed people was called Zabroni. He was from Ankore. They said, it is not Zabroni, this is Jim Wes now. It is not Zabroni who killed the people. It was the beer inside Zabroni. So what do we do? If Zabroni became the jerkan of, of carrying beer, and because of that, he kills people. What do we do? It was very, very sensitive. Actually, that's what made the, the NRM a majority force in Uganda. Because there were other groups. So we said no. If Zabroni made himself a jerrican of beer, and because of that, he caused the death of, of Ugandans, he must die. So we executed these, these boys. That's what changed the NRM, the political landscape of Uganda. The Baganda people were able to say, Bano Balinama Zima. These are people of the truth. <laughs>